Hello! Monsters abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 13 of my Throp the Unclean episode. And um, every 13 episodes, I'm lucky for someone, and it was unlucky for those wolf rats who ended up in the explosion. I, th I thought it would go off quicker, but it, it took quite a while to actually go off, and, and it turned out the wolf, wolf rats were then within range. And it's also quite unlucky for these dwarves who um, I've caught. This, of course, is Carrack Hearn who apparently are being very aggressive. And as such, I'm going to meet that aggression with slightly more aggression. By which I mean I'm going to pound them into jam. Yeah, that didn't take very long. Oh, I lose more wolf rats that way. Okay, well those guys are dead. Oh, hello. Hello, Masamoon's Pride. Uh, you have a weapon, don't you? Yes, you do. Uh, oh, but. Gorich. Now, you've currently got Mechanical Claw. I could... Right, that, that's a lot more damage, isn't it? Now, as, I can't... Right, uh, because I, I like... You know, he's got Rocket Boots. I like the fact he's got a Mechanical Claw, because he does kind of have a... Does he have a Mechanical Claw? I'm not 100% sure. I think he might do. I haven't paid attention. But maybe he does. And the important thing is, that's the aesthetic. And because of that, I'm going to leave him as he is. In fact, J mm, Jeremy? Jer Jeremy? 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 Jeremy it is. Good. Glad we could come to that consensus. Uh, sure. Some of that. Some of that. A potion of healing. Why not? You've got a, you've got someone to polish your belt. You've got a breeder. You're pretty much just... You're made for life, mate. And now you've got a helper attendant as well. If only we had a student for you, but we don't. Shame. Never mind. Uh, fuck it. A man thing slave. And also an engineer. I mean, we don't need an engineering student, but you can have one anyway. You can have Armour of Silvered Steel, you can have the Blade of Nurglitch, because you are a, a messy, horrible, droopy-nosed, goopy man. And you can have Forbidden Rods, because that's the kind of thing that you've got. You can also have someone to polish your bell, and a Hell Pit Attendant, and a whole bunch of other things, which I probably should have should have set out before I started the episode. But, well, we started with the battle, didn't we? And that always makes life a little bit harder, because it means I'd have to put a cut in in the middle of the video. And frankly, by the time I'm in the flow... I'm not interested with doing renames or equipping shit. It's just not what I am. You're just going to have to live with that. Live with that uncomfortable truth. Uh, Blage. Mm, no, yeah, we'll make it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Gorich. Yeah, does he though? Uh, well, he's, he's going to have to. And I guess... Uh, None of that's actually any use, is it? It's pointless. It's all pointless. What's, what's the point in life? Flensing ruin. Sure. Okay, good. Good, right. So those guys are dicks, and now they're dead. Need to kill Manfred. Need to kill Dreyker as well. There's a lot of people we need to kill. Plus, of course, at some point, um, Legendary Archeon is going to turn up, and I'm probably going to severely regret my decisions and life choices. But what the fuck is new? So uh, let's let's get Prague... I, right, I'm, I'm going to level with you. Every single time I see that, I chuckle to myself because it makes me laugh. Because because it's Prague, right? But the number of times... Like, Prague has been sacked and completely, like, leveled... Well, I say like completely leveled. I mean, it's been... It's leveled by the, the good guys because it was so horribly corrupted. But they... But it has been, like, you know, destroyed by chaos. And as such, naming it Prague is, is highly entertaining to me. Uh, let us... Yes, exactly. Let's do that. And what do we want to do here? You know what? Let's not do anything there. Let's instead do something here. So you two have got cellular instability. I'd quite like you two to have cellular instability as well because it's just good. But I do feel like giving everyone cellular instability is kind of dull. And to be honest, we haven't given a lot of stuff to our, inf our poor bloody infantry. They don't get much love, do they? Um, so, I mean, bonus versus large. I mean, you are our, our large boys, aren't you? Uh, Liv, there we are. You, you guys. 
What about that? 30% chance to become horribly mutated. Worth a shot. And they did it. So, they now have zero increase in melee attack, but they have plus 10 bonus first large. So that... Get, what do they have? They have a 27 bonus first large. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't really want to give any of them less melee defense. And the thing is, giving them extra speed just seems sick. Yeah, fuck it, we'll just give, give, just whack more, whack more our monsters. To be honest, uh, it just seems like the uh, the right thing to do. What do you don't have? Right, we we definitely want to give you Bloodworm. <laughs> Me, <I'm like> God, <laughs> Perfect. And sh 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 oh, we can't because we don't have enough. God, I, I never have enough bloody ooze, do I? Never enough. Never enough. Now, you've only got 30 armor, so I'm like, let's just whack weeping bone spines on you. Oh. Surprise. Surprise. That was a surprise. That was a surprise. That was a shock, but never mind. We're going we're gonna to push on. I need more mutagen. I always need more mutagen. All hail, horned rat. Yes, hail to the horned rats. Now, I'm going to ignore these jerks for a minute, because we're going to go and hit Middenheim along with Liv. And the reason we're going to do that is because I need to knock out the Empire before they become too much of a threat. So to be honest, I probably should send Liv down to help out with because I need to, if we can take out Griffin Wood, then Dryker is basically dead. But if we can take Middenheim... If we can take Middenheim, I think that's what we need to do. So we need to wait for you to get into position. Unless you could, you could march. That's going to make you tired, though. Do they have a big garrison? They do have a big garrison. Um, oh, I don't think that's... Is that a problem? I don't think it is a problem. Let, let's, be, let's be cautious. I'm just, a, I'm just like, if we take it, are we going to get suddenly attacked by, like, Volkmar? Like, three Volkmars. Like, we've got multiple Jeremys. Is, is the Empire claiming Volkmar? Would that explain a lot of things? In my opinion, yes. Bad thing. We'll chop slice. Put brain brain in abomination. I mean, there's not much of a brain in there, so probably not worth it. Um, You know what? I will take your peace treaty, because mostly because you're paying me. And also because I feel like it was a ban I did to Claire Warrior in the first place. You know, I feel like I've got enough enemies now. Um, I don't need more. So, sure, you may be a moon-faced little goon, but I put you in your place, and that's the main thing. Oh, Liv, what's going on? A wall thought to be loyal, honest, sends whispers of discontent across your portion of the Under Empire. This reeks of a plot. It must be stopped at once. Uh, more public order, or we give him some money. Um... I'll summon him directly. Summon the room I'm going to have him explain his actions. Then make him grovel and bow in front of your retinue. That'll teach him. That will teach him. That's it. Get on your knees. Bend the knee. Silent killer. Yes, yes. Okay. Let's see if we can find Tretch. Right, Skrulk is super dead, but that's not unusual, to be honest. Skrulk. Skrulk has a rough time being surrounded by all the... Oh, for fuck's sake. At least it's not Volkmar. I cannot. <sighs> I had to say it, didn't I? I had to, you know, as soon as I said that, I knew. I, I knew. I could see it coming. I could see it. It was, it was going to happen, wasn't it? <sighs> okay. I will not obey. Right, well. I can't. Right. Okay. 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 What we right? What we're going to do? We're going to pull back a little bit, and we're going right. We we need to kill these jerks because they but they've only got the one settlement. I don't give a shit. You've got one fucking settlement. I sacked that not nary what three turns ago, and now you've got a fucking stack of troops heading my way. Seriously. See Ooh, I'm, ooh, I'm going to give you such a hiding. I'm going to give you such a fucking hiding. You think they might have learnt by now? You know? 
Maybe? I don't know. I mean, fine. I mean, the council guard coming in. Yeah, I mean, just got body slammed by a mutant rat ogre, so good luck with that. Albrich is, uh, well, getting mobbed. The rear guard of the enemy column has already been torn to pieces by the wolf rats. I do love my wolf wolfy boys. My little wolfy rats. They're such good boys. And, yep, here we go. The infantry is breaking as, I mean, of, of course it was. What were they thinking? You know, they, they tried this plan before and it didn't work out very well that time. Did, did they think maybe trying the same plan again would... Oh, well. I really should know better than to allow an enemy faction to just have one paltry little settlement. Unless I'm farming them for something. Because it's always a terrible idea. Because look what the buggers do. They just start recruiting shit. And it's always annoying when they do it. They just sit there and just keep recruiting. I mean, at least that's that's a good amount of food we got there. So, I mean, I can't complain too much, I guess. Now, I do not like how... Right, you're not... You can't get close. You can, but only if you're marching. So I'm just going to chill here for a turn. Because I don't want to be put in a position where I could potentially get cut off. So, let's go with respected and fear. Basically what I'm worried about is if they... Because the AI does love to just immediately converge on you from all position. In fact, it's, it's probably the most dangerous thing you can do in Total Warhammer. Is just assume that there's no armies in range. Never assume that. Always assume the AI has about five armies just hidden just out of range of your sight that are going to be all over you like a fucking rash, because that's what it likes to do. If there's one army within range, assume there's more. Uh, so, Jeremy, you're going to get thick-skinned. And back back is going to be immortal, because I never want him to leave me. And we'll go with that, because that's reducing armor is, is always good. Yeah, tell me about it. Right. So, I don't trust Talabekland, but there's not much I can do about them at the moment. What I do need to be aware of is that if I want to hit Dryker, I'm going to have to either bring another army over here, or... Yeah, bring another army over, or ambush that army and then hit them afterwards, because ain't, ain't, ain't going to happen otherwise. Okay, let's build up that. Let's build up that. We probably want defensive defences here, because I suspect that Volkmar will spot that and lose his tiny little bald-headed little mind. And desperately charge after it, like it's nobody's business. Oh, Jeremy, you've ranked up as well, have you? Uh, oh, God, I know. Trixie. Don't know why anyone would waste winds of magic on you, but there we go. Uh, let's get a duck promising candidates. Okay. Okay, we weren't jumped. That's oh, for fuck's sake. Where did you get another flipping army from? You've got one sodding settlement, mate. Fuck it. Right, we're going to kill them all. Kill them all. How, how? Now, if you were to ask me what's going on here, I would say either it's sort of like a, a, a panic... Maybe they're panicking. It's you know the last holdout. Maybe it's a sex thing. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe they're having a big old, <laughs> big old <laughs> state troop orgy. I don't know what that means. It might be innuendo. It might be code. Is it? I'll be on. T I don't know. I, ju I just don't know. I don't know what's going on here. They just seem to be sort of like milling about in a big big old lob, a big old lob of state troops. I don't really. 
I mean, it's it's not the now defensively, it's not a great tactic because of course being all blobbed up like this is like waving a red rag to a bull with me. And as my infantry advance, I'm seeing this and I'm going, well, there's so many things I could do here that I'm I'm basically paralysed with sheer joy of how I'm going to sort of deal with this. Yeah, yes. Again, I'm, I don't know if that's an innuendo or something. Um, I, we've got units in the in the forest coming in there. And, uh, yeah, a little scorch is that? A little scorch. And then we're going to drop a, a plague in here as well. On, you know, that, that's the problem with orgies. You know, if you're not careful, a, a giant green rat appears nearby and turns you into jam. That's always, that's always an issue. And people are getting turned into jam. Yeah, that's a lot of jam. We also we also threw in uh, one of our mutant rat ogres and exploded as well. So that has left a big. I mean, it's 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 a. The remains of the orgy are devastating. It's very much the the nights, the morning after the night before. Yeah, and it's not a pretty sight. Someone's going to have to sort that out. Um, but it's not going to be me. As our forces stream out of the forest, I mean, already the enemy army is in considerable panic and disarray because, you know, their orgy is being disrupted. It's always, you know, when you're having fun at an orgy, as I have had many, many a time, and and then rats attack. That's, you know, it's it's always an issue, isn't it? It's one of those things that you just think, oh, is it, is it going to be a rat attack again? And this time it very much was. Mind you, that's the risk with outdoor orgies, isn't it? Mm. It's always problematic. Anyway, with any luck, this will be the end of these dickheads, because I seriously cannot be bothered to kill more of them. Right. Holy shit. Back, back. 701 kills. Um, I'm going to be honest, I thought the explosion did most of that damage, but uh, I, I guess between them, that was a large portion of that enemy army <laughs> completely disintegrated within seconds. So that's fun. Uh, right. Yeah, you're being raised. Now, that does potentially put me in a bit of a risky position. I think I'll be okay. Fingers crossed. And with any luck... A little bit concerned about that. Little bit worried about him. So let's just hold off for a second. Okay, what else we got going on? This, I do want to deal with Griffin Woods, but I just don't have the peeps right now to do it. I'm I'm gonna play it loose and and easy, and I'm gonna scamper down here. Can we see what's going on there? Mm, it's a little bit dicey. Okay, just ambush, just in case. And Ambassador Roche spreads public order for some reason. Sure, that's fine. Right, let's go see if we can find Tretch. See if uh, Tretch is alive. All dead. I could watch the end turn things, but I always forget, so never mind. Live. Good job murdering all those humans. And eating them, because that's bringing in some good food for us. Nice work. And I think we're going to go with... Do I want Rally? I think I do want Rally. Yeah. Yeah. And Throt. You are going to come here. And... Like, I don't... I don't... Right, mm. I guess I, I just I just need Dryker to come out of the forest just for a second, and then I can just murder her, or at least murder her little forest getaway, and I'll be happy with that. Jeremy, your thick skins, and good. There we go. Okay, was a little bit worried about that. That's a nasty force. I think we can retreat. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> I said I think. I wasn't 100% sure. But we're, we're, we're fine. Uh, what do you want? 
All right. I don't. Sure. Whatever. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, hello. Liv. Armor of Destiny. Word of Reach is that. What? Liv. Why is it always Liv? Is he gonna? He's. Be, he'll be right. Winning Armor of Destiny. I'll steal it. It's fine. He'll. He'll be okay with that. Um. Is he okay with that? Yeah, he's all right. Oh God! Look at that army. Unworkable. Is it? Is it really though? Okay, little bit of a rough position here. What I'm going right? What I'm going to do? What right? This is ballsy. We're going. We're going to. Unwise. Hmm. We can we can probably deal with that army, right? We've dealt with worse. However, impossible. After yeah. oh, fucking Volkmar, fucking hate that dick so much. Okay, okay, we need the ambush. Okay, we've got the ambush. It's just as well, which means I don't. At least I don't have to worry about the Hellblaster volley gun or the Hellstorm rocket battery. That's something. There is, however, four units of demi grips and a whole bunch of oh, and Volkmar himself. I'm really starting to hate that guy. Okay, well at least his banishment missed. That's something. Someone said that um, Volkmar looks a lot like Manfred with a moustache, and I'm wondering, have we ever seen Volkmar or Manfred and Manfred in the same place at the same time? Hmm, questions. He's also, I mean, Volkmar has also got a little round moon face, but he's wearing a moustache. Is that moustache false? Questions, I mean, I hate Volkmar and I hate Manfred. So that's a similarity. The Council Guard are doing fantastic at murdering these Demigriff Knights, and they should be, because they've got, you know, ridiculous amounts of, of uh, weapon strength and extra bonus attack versus large. So they're carving through them, no problem. Uh, the Knights have, we're having a little bit of trouble with the Knights. Our uh, Wolfrights are just getting away from uh, those Demigriffs because they do not want to engage them. The front line, on the other hand, sort of like front of the column, is... We're doing okay. The Rat Ogres take a bit of a beating from the Great Swords. Of course, where Volkmar is, he's going to really buff up the leadership of his troops. There he is. The round-faced little moon goon. With a moustache. I'm going to unmask him and he'll be like, Ah, oh, I would have got away with that and be you darn rats. That's, that's what's going to happen. That's canon now. The rear of the line, we're continuing to try and finish off these knights. They're being very resilient. But we are getting them, and the steam tank's also almost down. It's just being annoying and running away. But it doesn't have much health left. We're also dealing with that one over there. The Hell Pit Abomination's actually doing very well at dealing with, with steam tanks. I found, I found a really good way of dealing with steam tanks, and it's Hell Pit Abominations. Took a huge chunk of their health off there, very good. Okay, the front of the column seems to be finally going down as Rat Ogres and reinforcements arrive to back them up. The Halberdier is breaking there, the Great Swords being chewed up and spat out. The Rat Ogres did take quite a bit of damage but have left a, uh, a lot of a lot of dead Great Swords littered around. Volkmar has barely taken any damage because of course he's, he's, he regenerates quite a lot. Basically, I feel like three Hell Pit Abominations punching the shit out of him is about right. Just, I mean, we've, we've withered him, and that's helping, but he just regenerates it all. Oh, he's the worst. I really hate him, and he's casting on the banishment, and I'm going to have to get out of there, boys. I think we're okay. There's only a couple of rats being sucked off. That guy there. Are you okay? Was that fatal for you? No, he seems fine. He's picking himself up. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay, the rest of the enemy army is uh, broken and running, so it's just Volkmar to deal with, and he's being an absolute prick, as per usual, but we will eventually kill him again. At least for this turn. Alright, well, Volkmar's dead. See you later, Volkmar. About 10 minutes, I imagine. Uh, okay, let's take the replenishment. Send you scampering off. There we go. 
Scotty, move. Now. Sigma forbids this. I could. Not. Okay, I've got two options here. I can go on the attack again, which I'm tempted to do. Oh, let's grab. Let's grab that. Let's grab that one and thick skins. Yes. Also, someone said I had to take my pack masters out of my army and put them back in for the replenishment to take effect. So I must remember to do that. Uh, let's get blessed with Phil. Unachievable. Okay, this army is decided less difficult to deal with. I'll ignore that. So, we're going to deal... Now, before I do anything else, otherwise I will forget to do this. Bad joke. Me send pet beasts. Uh, does it matter which one I do? Can you only do one? Huh. I've never considered this before. Okay. You do that. You do that. Don't know if it makes any difference. Legitimately not sure. I'd have to do testing. And I'm probably not going to do that. Okay. So, we've taken a bit of a beating. But I think we're more than capable of dealing with this little force over here. Assuming we can get the ambush. We did. Fantastic. Okay. Ulrich Billings is next on the agenda. Then we need to finish off these armies. And then we're, Liv is going to take a much... Much required break in hair gig for a turn. He's had a, he's had a rough couple of turns, doesn't he? First, I nicked his armor off him, and then he's had to fight his way out of an encirclement. I mean, he's doing great though. He really is. Unfortunately, that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.